The District of Columbia, on the Potomac River between Maryland and Virginia, was set aside as the nation's capital so that the federal government would not be located in any single state. Pierre-Charles L'Enfant was commissioned by George Washington to plan the city, and you can clearly see L'Enfant's layout of a street grid intersected by broad avenues. National symbols such as the Capitol Hill and the White House are accessible to visitors, along with dozens of other tourist attractions which include world-class museums and important monuments. Many of the most important things to see and do are in the northwestern quadrant along the National Mall and are best seen on foot. Summer can be unpleasantly hot and humid, so the best time to visit Washington are spring and autumn. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll tell you about the 10 best places to visit on your next trip to Washington. But first, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more similar content. Let's dive in. 1. United States Capitol and Capitol Hill Recognized around the world as a symbol of the United States, the Capitol is the seat of the House of Representatives and the Senate. The huge dome, based on the Dome of St. Peter's in Rome, stands out above all the other Washington buildings. Like Washington itself, the building has grown. Over the years since the central portion was built between 1793 and 1812, the last addition, in 1958-62, enlarged the main facade where presidents take the oath. On the other side, a marble terrace offers beautiful views over the mall and the city. When free tours resume, they can be reserved online and begin at the visitor center on the lower floor, where there is an interesting exhibition on the building's history. Free tours on weekday afternoons explore the ornate paintings on the walls and ceilings of the corridors in the Senate wing, designed by Bramiti between 1857 and 1859. To visit the Senate or House in session, you need to contact your senator or representative for a pass. Foreign visitors can arrange visits through the visitor center. 2. The Lincoln Memorial The best loved of all Washington's memorial, the Lincoln Memorial stands at the far end of the mall, separated from the Washington Monument by the reflecting pool. At its center is a 19-foot marble statue of a seated and pensive President Abraham Lincoln, surrounded by 36 columns, one for each of the states that existed at the time of Lincoln's death. This is the most famous work designed by noted sculptor Daniel Chester French, Jules Gwynn, the inside walls, showing important events in Lincoln's life. Since its completion in 1922, the Lincoln Memorial has been the scene of a number of historic events. In 1939, when the All-White Daughters of the American Revolution, DAR, refused to let celebrated African-American singer Marian Anderson perform at a concert in nearby Constitution Hall, President Franklin Roosevelt and First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt arranged for her to give an open-air concert on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial, attended by 75,000 people and broadcast to millions of radio listeners. 3. National Mall and Veterans Memorials The spacious swath of lawns and pools that forms a wide green belt from the Capitol building to the Lincoln Memorial is also the site of many of Washington's landmark buildings and monuments. Most prominent at its center point is the Washington Monument and War Memorials include those to veterans of World War II, the Korean War, and Vietnam. On summer evenings, you can often find military bands performing at venues along the mall. The U.S. Navy Band concerts at the Capitol Steps overlooking the malls on Mondays and Tuesdays at Navy Memorial. The U.S. Air Force Band performs on the Capitol Steps on Tuesdays and at the Air Force Memorial on Fridays. 4. The White House The White House is the official residence of the President of the United States. The home of every president except George Washington, it was originally built by James Hoban in 1792 and after being burned down by the British forces in 1814, was rebuilt in 1818. Although tours of the interior that include the East, Blue, Green, and Red Rooms, the Ballroom and the State Dining Room must be reserved well in advance through your congressional office or embassy. Every tourist to Washington will want to see this iconic building, at least from the outside. 5. The Washington Monument the 555-foot white shaft of the Washington Monument is a familiar icon of the National Mall and a beautiful sight, especially when mirrored in the long reflecting pool at its foot. Construction of the obelisk to honor the nation's first president did not proceed smoothly. The plan was approved by Congress in 1783, but ground wasn't broken until 1848. When the tower reached 156 feet in height in 1854, political wrangling and lack of funds stopped the project for several years, and the Civil War caused further interruption so that the tower was not capped until 1885. 
when it was finally completed by the Army Corps of Engineers. 6. National Air and Space Museum The National Air and Space Museum is one of the world's most popular museums with a collection of history-making air and spacecraft that includes the original 1903 Wright Brothers Flyer and Charles Lindbergh Spirit of St. Louis, the first plane to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean. More recent flight history is represented here by the Apollo 11 Command Module, part of the first manned lunar landing mission. Permanent and changing exhibitions illustrate the science, history, and technology of aviation and spaceflight, covering topics like the use of air power in both world wars, the space race, flight pioneers, and up-to-the-minute flight and space technology. 7. National Gallery of Art Housed in two separate buildings connected by a tunnel, the National Gallery of Art is one of the world's premier art museums and one of the most popular in the U.S. Based on the sizable collections of financier and late Treasury Secretary Andrew Mellon, his large and diverse collection includes masterpieces of European and American paintings, sculpture, and decorative arts. Frequent temporary exhibitions add to this outstanding permanent collection to highlight arts from cultures around the world. Among the highlights is Ginevra da Benci, the only da Vinci painting in any American museum. Others include works by major French Impressionist Monet, Degas, and Renoir, and other masterpieces by Rembrandt, El Greco, and Vermeer. 8. United States Holocaust Memorial Museum Near the Smithsonian Museums, the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum documents, studies, and interprets the history of the Holocaust with the dual purpose of memorializing the victims and helping the world to confront hatred and prevent genocide. The presentations draw on the enormous collections of more than 12,750 artifacts, 85,000 historical photos, 9,000 oral history testimonies, as well as archival footage and records of survivors and their families. A visit to the museum is a sobering experience. 9. Library of Congress An underground passage with historical exhibits leads from the Capitol building to one of Washington's little-known places to visit, the Library of Congress. It's the world's largest library, modeled on the Opera House in Paris. You can visit portions on your own, but free tours disclose even more of its beautiful interior. 10. National Museum of Natural History one of the most popular things to do with children in Washington, the Museum of Natural History explores the natural world with permanent and changing exhibits to interest all ages. Favorite exhibits include the renowned Hope Diamond and the dazzling collection of gems and minerals around it, and the Ocean Hall with its stunning underwater photography and replica of a 45-foot North Atlantic right whale. That was all from us today, folks. For more similar content like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification icon so you'll get notified when we upload our next video. See you in the next one.